Hello everyone, welcome to Man Manga Boy, read some man manga. I, wait a minute, no, that's not what I did today. I'm just, just moving that a little bit. Uh, so I got some manga here. This is just a little bit of a last minute update box. I got this on the 31st, that's why I'm in this weird thing. So I figured, throw it in the video, because the last haul was kind of short anyway. This is a big, a big one, okay? So hold on a second, big box, big haul. Orient. That's the box. I'm gonna open up this one here. Just like this. This is actually a little bit. We got some size here. Real quick, Dragon Quest Adventures of Die, Volume 5. Now, Volume 8. Promise Neverland. I don't really know what this is, honestly. thought that it was going to be in our book. Uh, World Trigger 24. And again, Orient, Volume 10. Real quick, just talk about these. Orient, uh, by the same creator of Magi. I have been really liking this. This is going to probably wrap up the current arc here uh, with the Band of Samurai versus this big Orochi demon. Exciting to see kind of the power system explored a bit more. I do like this series, but it got dropped by a lot of people earlier on. Definitely one that you have to get through like the first four volumes or so before it starts getting good. World Trigger series I have liked for quite a while. Big fan of the kind of sci-fi nature. Most people don't seem to have super OP powers for no reason. It seems like they have to train <laughs> for the most part, which is good. So I do enjoy that. Our main character is pretty weak, he's very smart, so he's able to kind of be tactical about it. It's pretty much about these teenagers who have to defend uh, against invaders, and they work for like this government protection service uh, against aliens called, I can't remember what their, their thing is called, Border, that's it. And they use triggers to fight. Beyond the Promised Neverland, Kai Shirai ex Posuka Demizu. Uh, so, I don't really know what this is, it just says it's a bunch of short stories, so I guess I guess that's what it is, it's a bunch of short stories um, in the <laughs> potentially related to the Promised Neverland universe, potentially not. It just says that it is their best short stories, so that's kind of cool. It also has an epilogue at the end that tells you what happened to the other uh, characters in the main series, which is neat. Mao Volume 8 by Rumiko Takahashi. This series has been kind of a mixed bag for me. It's getting better, but it's just like one mystery that is just constantly unraveling so far. But I don't know, it's kind of slow and it seems like it's taking its time getting there, like a really long time. I'm kind of hoping for there to be something more. Hopefully there is in this volume. Dragon Quest, The Adventures of Dai. Uh, these are one and a halfs. And these are super good. I'm a big fan of these two and or one and a half, and the actual quality of the manga is great. I have been really loving the story, but again, the anime that's currently out is way further than us here. So we're probably like on the first like 15 episodes or so uh, still with this volume. So that's interesting. But that is the end of that. I cut myself. You see that. So we'll talk to you next time where there'll be more manga in November, which it probably is now. But today it is Halloween. I was I was the linguini from uh, Ratatouille. I had a rat beret to my head and it was nice. <laughs> That's all. If you like today's video, do that other stuff I probably already said, or maybe I'll put it at the end. I don't know. It's kind of weird when you got a different outfit on. But see you next time. Bye bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to Man Manga Boy Has Manga to Unbox. If you like today's content, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it. Also, I've got a cool Rent of the Fairy link. Check that out. Anyways, let's open these boxes, see what we got. I forget I got these from Right Stuff. Uh, so the tape isn't actually real. Uh, it's one of Right Stuff's new um, features since partnering with Sony is not using real tape. Uh, so you can just very easily just take it off.
Usually it's a little easier than that, but it still wasn't very hard. This one, though, looks like there might be a real tape. You can see here I got two medium-sized boxes. Um, probably, you probably can tell, right? So they're both the same size. They look like this. They're not my usual metal boxes. That's because Red Sip has been actually sending me very reasonably sized hauls uh, consistently. I don't even know who this, what this company is anymore since they got bought by Sony. They, they did, right? I'm not just confusing it with Crunchyroll. I think that's what happened anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, they've been sending me orders like like a, like a box a week and I'm like, but you guys, it, there's more than one book in there? Has anyone else had this, this issue? I don't know if this is on purpose or not, or if I've just gotten, you know, some sort of a fluke but it's very unlike right stuff and I'm kind of a little disturbed to be honest with you. Holy shit. I can't even believe what I've got in here. Woo I haven't, I don't think I've waited longer for a, a book than I have this one. Well, I guess that's because I'm not all here. Why does this feel heavy still? And okay, nothing else is here. So friends, we've got the holiday sale. It starts on the 20th of this month. So bookmark it on your calendar. And the holiday sale will start on the 27th, just one week later, which is very typical. Uh, I guess you could get a box of chocolates. Use, my pro use this promo code if you want to. You'll get 10% off your next order. Very good. Pretty small. I don't know why it would be so small. Asadora, Volume 6, Zion 100, Volume 8, Sayonara Football, Volume 13, Rooster Fighter, Volume 2, Blue Period, Volume 10, Kid in a last dun from the Last Dungeon moved to the Boonies, a starter town. Last Dungeon Boonies moved to a, a starter town. Six. <laughs> That's a hard title for me to say. Okay, guys. Volume 11 of Orient. Mashal, Volume 9. Fairy Tale, 100 Year Quest, Volume 11. My Life as a Villainous, On the Verge of Doom, uh, Volume 3. This is creepy. Avant Gar, Yumeko. That's a dick. These are dicks. It's a one shot. That's, that's weird. Um, Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Volume 5. I haven't read that in a while now. I'll be like, Livingstone Volume 3. I can't believe I got this in already. <laughs> I hardly had to wait four years for it. That's all. No big deal. Oh, let's talk about my next bit here. No Longer Human by Osamu Daisai. Um, the novel is anyways. And this manga is by Usamu Furia which is not to be confused with the um, other work. <laughs> not by that guy, Osama Dazai, but, oh my God, Junji Ito, who also has adapted that. I don't know why sometimes I get these brain farts. Ayakashi Triangle, Volume 1. Uh, Classroom of the Elite, Volume 4. Shaman King, 31-32-33. Don't toy with me, Miss Nagataro, volume 13. <clears throat> Akame got killed, nine, eight, seven, and their backs. They're all just the same kind of thing with a different color. It's pretty cool. And lastly, Silver Spoon, volume eight. Same author of Full Metal Alchemist, Hiromu Arukawa. Let's talk about these gosh darn manga volumes, okay? So, Silver Spoon, we all know, um, same author as, obviously, Fulminant Alchemist. And do you need anything else to say about it? The guy moves to the country farms, get away from the city. That's as much, about as much as I know. The main reason I got it is, of course, Hiromu uh, Arakawa. And Arakawa has pretty good track record. Most people have said that this manga is quite good. Um, Akami Gakel. I watched the entire anime. It was very good, very bloody. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out. The anime does deviate from the manga at a certain point. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, if you watched the anime and you liked it, 
I definitely recommend checking out the manga because it does, of course, go down a different path, uh, has different characters, and likely different deaths and demises. The anime had a lot of death, a lot of it, and you don't expect it. Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagataro, Volume 13, does not have a lot of death. Um, does have some boobas. Uh, it's a boobas, so that's great. Looks like we've got some karate as well. Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That was an interesting scene. That's all I'll say on that. There's actually, <laughs> there is usually more uh, plot, but you know, sometimes you get the fan service. Shaman King 31, 32, 33. Um, or I think there's only one more on the boost left, and then that will complete it. So we are at the end. Obviously, the anime is done, the reboot anime. I don't know if they're planning on making a Flowers anime or a Marcos anime or what. Um, those are spin-offs. I do know that they're having a Flowers side story of Shaman King. I have all the singles, but it'll be nice to have the true ending um, of Shaman King collected for the first time in English, because it wasn't released by Jump. Flash from the Elite Volume 4. I think I've only read two volumes, maybe one volume of it. Thought it was just okay. Hopefully it starts to take off because people say the light novel is really good, but the manga has been uh, pretty lackluster from what I'm hearing online, so I've been kind of hesitant to continue through with it, um, at least in terms of uh, just reading it. I've been buying it just the same. I actually Triangle Volume 1. These finds are much nicer than the ones I made. I, if you guys didn't know, I did do a, a blah, 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 what's it called? A self-print of Ayakashi Triangle because I did not think that this was going to come to English uh, since it is a Shonen Jump title and there is quite a lot of fan service in it. Uh, you'll see here it says Ghost Ship. Uh, that's, so you can see why I might think that it wasn't going to get picked up by Viz because it didn't. Seven Seas decided to pick it up and um, they have put it on the Ghost Ship label so that way they don't have to censor it. Pretty smart guys. Uh, by the same author who did uh, To Love Rue and um, Black Cat. It looks like they, he's also the artist of Darling and the Franks. Can you believe that they don't put uh, Black Cat on here anymore? It's like, wow, what? I love Black Cat, that was so good. Um, I, I skipped Love because it was really, seemed like it was entirely fan service. I'd like to pick it because it seemed like I was wrong about that. Um, and I haven't picked up Darling and the Franks. Omnibus is right along. I think this, there are singles for it. And I don't think the singles are complete, but maybe they are complete, I don't know. Um, no Longer Human by Furuya. I don't know why this is wrapped. Maybe this is super naughty or just super gory. Uh, Furuya did um, the Lychee Light Club, which is pretty fucked up from what I understand. I've never read it. If you guys are looking for something to get scarred, I guess that is for you. Um, also, I believe this is the same author as Genkaku Picasso, which is a great Shonen Jump title. Uh, three volumes long came out in English and more people should read it. Obviously, um, if you didn't realize, the spine is actually on the right, um, so you probably read it instead of uh, this way. You could read it this way, left or right. Living Stone Volume 3, I ordered this in October, I think, of 2020, maybe 2021, during the holiday sale. Wow, and it finally came in. I thought this went out of print and was never going to make it to me. Um, this is actually by the same creators of Dead Man Wonderland right here, both of them, I think. Um, I know at least Jinsei did uh, Dead Man Wonderland. I'm not sure about Kataoka. But yeah, very, um, you know, loving of anything Dead Man Wonderland related. Uh, I also read The Smoking Parade, which was fantastic as well. Give that a read if you like Dead Man Wonderland. Um, Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Seven Deadly Sins, another series which I feel like has been just beautiful. It's been going got really well so far. Uh, I've had a blast reading it. The last one got delayed, so I haven't read this in a while now, though. So I'm all up to date, at least as far as I know. Uh, there were supposed to be two volumes to release in November. I doubt that's happening. So if you <laughs> pre read it, get ready for a, um, what's it called? Delay. <laughs> Uh, this is by, of course, um, you know, Shuzo Oshimi, and there are just dicks all over this cover. I didn't realize that when I bought it, um, but yeah, that is what's happening there. All right, next we have My Life as a Villainess on the Verge of Doom. Uh, this is the side story, and I don't really know what goes on in the side story or the main story. But yeah, you know, I recently got all the volumes in, so I do plan on reading it pretty soon. 
I am trying to read all the jump volumes that I have right now. That's taking my priority lately. Um, Fairy Tale, 100 Year Quest Volume 11, continuation of Fairy Tale. I've heard pretty good things about it overall. That's a pretty nice print. Job Kodansha. Oh well. Kodansha has some pretty interesting works sometimes, <laughs> I've noticed. But that's okay. Wow, that looks pretty silly. Anyways, I've heard good things about it. Hopefully it is better than Fairy Tale. I like Fairy Tale towards the end, but most of the story in the beginning I liked it too. Everything else, eh, not so much. Mashal, Volume 9, Magic and Mushals. I don't, I didn't really find Mash to be super, super good, um, but I kept buying it because it's been okay. <laughs> it goes kind of up and down, so it starts to get really good. Uh, and then the most recent one that I read, it was just meh. And so hopefully this is a little bit better than the meh volume I read. Um, and it gets the action back to rolling. We'll see. Orient Volume Alert. Same creator of Magi. Magi. This looks pretty fun volume. A lot of orange redheads. <laughs> looks like the last one, which I got in just not that long ago, actually doesn't finish off the arc somehow. That <laughs> I thought it was going to for sure. So that is going to be excellent to read through this and see how uh, Yamato Orochi gets deaded. Uh, very excited to see that. And these are the uh, main family members of the clan that we've been in. Very good series. I've been, uh, you know, people don't like it a lot because they've seen the first. They were the first four volumes. They were great. You got to get kind of past volume four, if I remember right. Uh, once you get into the Dark Blade guys, then, then you're in action. The Obsidian Blades. Uh, suppose it came from the Dooney, uh, from the last dungeon, Boonies went to the start town. This has been an okay um, story. The volumes didn't have a lot of a lot of reading. It's more funny than anything else. There is a lot of kind of cool and interesting things going on, but it's mainly all slapstick. So if you like slapstick comedy, check it out. Fantasy World. If you don't like that stuff, don't check it out. It's not for you. It's not very serious at all. <laughs> uh, Blue Period Volume 10, another series that I like a lot, but I haven't actually read a lot lately. It's just been coming out really fast. I feel like, wow, that's a nice color page. Whoa. Uh, so I've been buying it just so that way it doesn't uh, become harder to find when I do just finally read it. But I, I feel like they come out with a volume a month, maybe every other month, but it comes out quick. Rooster Fighter Volume 2, this has been you know, one volume I read so far was was really funny. Uh, so hopefully this continues the fun. Looks like it does. I mean, we've got Thunder Machine Gun uh, Rooster here fighting Rooster Fighter. So that should be excellent. Mainly this rooster uh, <laughs> comes across these kaiju and just kicks their asses. <laughs> kind of think One Punch Man mixed with uh, a rooster. <laughs> uh, so I've really been enjoying it quite a lot. He really likes to have sex. Um, so it tends to be a big goal for him. Or an incentive, anyways. Sex and food, you know, just like every rooster, I suppose. Farewell football, sayonara, you know, farewell, my dear Kramer, volume 13. Um, this is by the same creator of your line, April, obviously, as you can read in the back. It has been a pretty good series that so far, again, this one has come out super fast. It's very difficult to keep up with it. Uh, so I haven't, I believe we are going to get to the end of it pretty soon. I think there's probably like. 16 volumes or something like that. Uh, I can't remember exactly since the Japanese release is like the English release, but like plus two or three because um, it also combines um, <laughs> Sayonara Football with Feral McDear Kramer. Um, so like, those are technically different series, but it's the same characters just further down the timeline, kind of like Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Um, but yeah, it's been a very good sports read. Definitely recommend it. Zom 100, Bucketless of the Dead, same creator of... Um, that big hit right now, uh, Alice in Borderland, which had a great uh, live-action film if, or television series. If you haven't watched it, check it out. You can see uh, how far we are in the story. The main quest here is to complete the bucket list. Um, you know, there's a hundred items on the bucket list. Obviously, he has not thought up all of them quite yet, but uh, you know, the ones he has thought up, they cross out quite a few of them. So that's been excellent. The series is largely just funny. The guy, everybody is in this zombie apocalypse and they're trying to survive. Um, but he's like, man, if I'm in the zombie apocalypse, I'm gonna go through all of my bucket list. So he does it. It's been great. 
And uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Some people dropped it because they kind of felt like it was samey. It, it's kind of like, you know, mission of the week thing. I do like it though a lot. Uh, it's just a fun comedy, you know? Asadora, with a unique t uh, twist. Asadora, volume six, uh, by Naoki Urasawa. Haven't read through this quite yet. A lot of these I actually haven't read, huh? <laughs> huh, huh. Um, so, ooh, some color pages. Again, anything by Urasawa is bound to be the greatest thing I've ever read, so you gotta get it. You just, you gotta get it. What are you gonna do? Not get it, you stupid. You gotta get it. Anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, I haven't read it. I've heard mixed things about it. Hopefully it is better than the mixed things because usually everything I read by Arasawa is really good instead of mixed. So um, I am excited to read through it. I don't even know too much about it and I don't want to know a thing about it other than how many volumes there are for the whole series. I don't really want to read it until I can just kind of binge it at once like I tend to do with most Arasawa works. But that is it for today's video. Let's just briefly briefly oh my god it's a goddamn hurricane okay i can't stack them. i'm gonna stack them but i'll take a picture what the heck if you enjoyed today's video please let me know down south in the comment section like the video subscribe to the channel you know and also share with a friend if you enjoyed it it will help me out a lot as i approach uh, the 1,000 subscriber mark. And thank you so much, everybody, for helping me get this far. And bye-bye.